G Soul is making his first ever comeback. He's bringing us his beautiful voice once again. So let's check out his newest song right now. What is going on everybody? My name is Nick from MWK Pop and I want to welcome you back for another music video reaction. Today we have got, I guess you can say this is the second release from Pro or J Project this week. Day 6 came out just, well yesterday or something like that. And now we've got G Soul, who's a solo artist signed to that uh, sub, sub label of JYP, who's making his first ever solo comeback with a song called Crazy For You. So he made his debut uh, earlier in the year. It was a fantastic song. It was really nice. He can sing. He's got a very nice voice. So let's get it started in three, two, one, go. Okay, it is indeed playing. Are we actually going to get... Are we actually going to get like a song that's kind of like a pop song though? Some electro, electronic beats? That'd be cool. Oh, okay. I'm like that. I like the beat, dude. This guy is his voice is is great. Dude, and I, and I like that beat too that's behind it. I like this. This is kind of honestly, this is a little bit, just a little tiny bit reminding me of uh, Zion T's latest song. Just a tiny bit. I would love to see a. We're just thinking about it now, like G Soul and Zion, Zion T to collab together, make a song. That would be nice. I have no idea what's going on, but who cares? It's definitely interesting. You know what? And I do think too that the music track behind this, right? That the this electronic beats could stand on their own as an individual song. I swear to god they could. Well, that's trippy. That was cool. I do I swear to god, I honestly, I swear I do believe that this uh this music track could stand on its own as a song, individually, minus the vocals, right? The instrumental could be a fantastic song in and of itself. I like, dude, like I said, man, I love this. This is great. I'm feeling it. I don't know what else, what else can, what else can I say? What else can I say other than I love it? Cuz everything here just like all of it, the music and the his voice and all of the the elements of this song. I think they combine together to make a really nice song. It's fantastic. He's looking sharp too with his styled hair in the suit. Well, that's a nice, that's an interesting uh, idea. Oh, he was in love with her. That's cool, I like that, that's cute. That's really cute. But there you go. There you go, G-Soul. 
and I guess I, I don't even know another al- an album mini album something I haven't checked it out but uh there you go G G Soul his second release of his career his first his debut song I think was more of a song to highlight his vocal ability and stuff like that which was fantastic it wasn't really a song that got me hooked on him but I definitely was like very impressed and I loved it I wasn't like I fell in love it was more like that dude is fantastic at what he does he makes some good he's he's a good singer he makes some really good music this song here is definitely more in line with something that you know the mass population would would, would enjoy because it just is kind of it's not to listen as far as listening to it it kind of is just like mindless to listen to you like you don't even have to, it, it doesn't even require any effort to listen to it and to just really enjoy it right because that music track is really good like that's all the really the main part of it right the music track is fantastic it is attention grabbing it grabs it and it and for me like it wouldn't let go right once i got into it as far as you know, like the beat would go and it was really really difficult to you know take my attention away from it and then his vocals on top of that were just like oh they were so good they were so good i mean like they remind me like i said they were remind, they remind me a lot of like zion t and the way that his vocals sit on top or you know mesh and combine and just go in general and like they just exist within the song and there it's just really they just sounds really really nice like the, the, the vocals in this song by him are perfect they're like like i said they're like they're like zion they're like zion t levels of of good and they sound the same they, they really do sound very very similar as far as you know like the you know i, I guess just the general sound and the feeling and stuff like that which was which is cool i guess and, uh, you know, like I said, I do think that it would be really, really awesome to see a Zion T and G Soul collaboration song uh, in the future. Or if, it, if they, they might have even done one previously, I don't know specifically, but, you know, just, it was good. It was a really fantastic song. I like it. And I do, I really did, dude. But just like, the music in this song in general is really, really great. Like I said, that, 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 that if they, if they've made, re- released an instrumental version of this song, I think that it could stand on its own as a really good song individually without the vocals. I really do. It would, it would be fantastic. And the, Jesus Lord. Anyway. And I really do think that the, just the general, like, genre and sound of the entire song is, one, it's a bit different. Actually, it's not a bit. It's really different than what you normally get in K-pop. And it's, you know, that helps it to stand out and be something, you know, for me, that is more interesting to listen to, and is just overall, you know, really, really great, so there you go, G Soul, I guess the album is dirty, I'm not entirely sure, um, but there there you go, G Soul, crazy for you, those are my thoughts and opinions, I want to know what you had to say, so put them down in the comment box below, also, if you can follow me on social media, get Twitter, Instagram, and a bunch of others. I got links to everything down in the description box below. And if you could support me on Patreon, that would be super awesome. Just like social media, get a link to my Patreon down below as well. Click that, check it all out. It would be really, really appreciated. So that is going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. And he's been a trainee for 15 years, apparently. And I'm eager to see what 15 years of training gets us. So let's put the headphones on and get it going in three, two, one, go.